Hey everybody, welcome back. First of all, you are looking at an idiot. I don't know how well you can see it. it looks like I'm in the shade. Do you see the sunburn yet? Anybody that makes it to my age and was born a ginger should know not to spend a couple hours in the Florida sun in a kayak without sunscreen. My legs are toasted. My face is toasted. The back of my neck is probably the worst with my ears. But didn't make this just to call myself an idiot. Quick intro, real quick. But two weeks ago, watching YouTube videos like you guys do, there's a guy, Southern Salt, who said if you can't find crabs, he's got a secret bait. He's got a secret bait for sheep's head. He was using red worms or night crawlers. And he hooked up with some sheep's head. So initial thought was, sounds too good to be true. Sounds fishy, sounds like, hey, why don't you go ask First Sergeant for that left-handed smoke deflector? Just a good old Southern boy, Josh in a little bit, try to get everybody out doing something. But on the other hand, this could work. And I want to introduce it to everybody in the Tampa Bay area. So I go out and I buy some red worms and I went to Coffee Pot Bayou where I had some sheep's head success under the bridge. Did not come home with any sheep's head. I did not come home with any sheep's head, but I had four good solid bites underneath that bridge. And I switched from the circle hook to the little J hook. Don't know if that's it. Left frustrated. Okay, I didn't get a video that I wanted to get, but I was getting hits and I felt like they were sheep's head hits. But then I get home and open up YouTube and Rad Reel and Fishing, old JC from Rad Reel and Fishing has a video up, Myth Busted. You're not catching sheep's head on worms. He went to one of his spots, threw a bunch of worms where he's had plenty of sheep's head success. Nothing happening. He threw a couple mud crabs and was hooking up left and right on the sheep's head. So JC at Rad Reel and says, Miss Busted, and he's positive of it. And I'm still stubborn on the fact that this could work. Went out this morning and launched from Bel Air. Folks, we are leaving the Bel Air boat ramp in the Bel Air Causeway. It is windy today, so I apologize. I am gonna get around this, get through the causeway here, duck into some canals. This is gonna be the preferred bait of the day. Some red worms, definitely unusual. Don't know what it is, but second hit on the red worm. Third time's the charm. Let's see, right near these first two pilings. Don't make me into a lie. There it goes. Oh, again, I keep missing. Something's stealing the worm. It's hitting again. Come on, take it. It's hitting. A little pinfish or something. Oh. All right, gonna have to try another worm, but red worms may not be a sheep's head, but something's hitting it. But down here, I'm getting hit. Oh, and something got me into a snag, I do believe. Damn. Uh, wrapped on the piling. But again, 
took my worm and that's a pretty small hook tried it last weekend and I was excited went to my sheep's head spot had three or four hits in an hour but couldn't hook up again getting tapped can't see anything ah. don't know what's doing it guys but I cannot seem to hook up on anything again getting tapped Wind is howling. Intercoastal was very rough. And when I got to my spot, after about an hour, I realized I didn't have the sunscreen. So I cut this short. I'm still not saying it's myth busted. Gotta give it another shot. <laughs> 